In this lesson we're going to have a look at multiplying numbers together and you'll find this is called contracted multiplication. The meaning doesn't really um, matter at this stage what it means but you'll see how it's done quite easily. Let's take a look at a three digit number. Now you've got this example in front of you if you've got the sheets that I gave you for this lesson. Let's take 156 and times it by three. Now one of the things that we try and learn is that we can estimate what our answer should be. 156 is close to 150 and when we multiply 150 by 3 you should be able to see that if I went up by 2 that would be 300 and another 150 that's 3 times 150 is 450. So we would imagine that this answer is going to be close to 450, probably a little bit more because of that number there. But our method goes like this. We just go 3 times 6 is 18. We carry the 1 up to there. 3 times 5 is 15 plus 1 is 16. Carry the 1 up to here. 3 times 1 is 3 plus 1 is 4. 468. And you can see how close that was to our estimate, which means it's probably correct unless we've made a multiplication error. But in this case, there's our answer, 468. Now, I'm going to work through the next example with you. And you can fill it in on your sheet as we go. And then after that, I'm going to get you just to pause the video while you do the other examples on the page. So let's have a look at this one. This one is uh, 3 times 1. But look, before we do that, let's have a look. We've got a number that's around about 700, because that's fairly close to 700, times that by 3. And we shouldn't get, if we go 3 times 7, we get 21 with the two zeros, 2100. 2100 should be our estimate. So let's put that up here. And off we go. Three ones are three. Three twos are six. And three sevens, 21. 2,163, which isn't a lot different to what we had before. So we'll tick that off. Now, on the rest of this page, there are questions that are single multiplication single digit multiplication and also if you have a look at number two on the page it's the double digit now we've been practicing that in class so you should be able to do those double digit multiplications and if you're not sure have a look at the example but at this stage just pause the video and when you're ready to turn the page and go to the next uh, section on extended multiplication we'll have a look at that then now I'm going to go on to the section on extended multiplication. What do we mean by extended multiplication? Well, they say here in this particular example that extended multiplication means that we multiply each place value separately and then we add all the answers together. So let's see what that means in this particular example. So what we're going to do is we're going to multiply 156 by 3. Now, 3 times 6 is 18. We're going to write the whole thing down here. 3 times, now notice that that's 50 because it's in the tens place. 3 times 5, no, it's 3 times 50. 350s are 150, and we fill up the places here. And finally, here we have 1 in the hundreds column, so that's 3 times 100, which is 300. So we now add these columns up, 8, 5 and 1 is 6, 3 and 1 is 4, and we get the answer 468. So this is called extended multiplication. And remember, we multiply the whole number out 
one by one separately and then add, add the answers together. So I'm going to do the first example with you here. And then you're going to go on and do the rest yourself on this page. So let's try this out. We know that that's 2 times 6 and 2 times 6 is 12. We write the whole number out. Oh, before we do that, notice that it's saying here, let's estimate. And that looks like, what do you think? Around about 450. And because it's times 2, we're going to double it. So have a little think. Double 450 should take you up to 900. So we're expecting an answer around about 900, near 900. So let's go on. We've multiplied 2 by 6 to get 12. Now it's 2, not by 4, remember, but because 4 is in the tens place. So there it is there in the tens place. It's 2 times 40. So 2 times 4 is 8. So that would be 2 times 40 is 80. And this is 4 in the hundreds column. So it's 2 times 400, which would be 800. And adding those columns up, 2, 8 and 1 is 9, and 8. There's our answer, 892. And notice that it's actually quite close to 900. It's only 8 less than 900. So our estimate was very important and very good. Now you need to go on and work through the other exercises. So I'd expect you to do the first two pages of that handout that I gave you for this lesson.